All right. Uh, this is going to be a very, very informal tutorial. Not really even a tutorial, but somewhat of a tutorial. Very informal. Let's just jump right into it. This video will only, uh, I'm only posting this video to the roster cheat engine thread on NLSC. This video will not be public. It will only be published here unless somebody shares it elsewhere. So this is exclusive to this thread. All right. So I'm using the cheat engine table from September 25th. 925 uh, so let's look at it what I I can actually get rid of this I don't need the memory viewer up I have the default roster playing in demo mode right now in the background while I search for F000 so initially this value here has some type of pointer so I uncheck the pointer box and then I, I just click OK or whatever. I click OK. I'm not going to do it right now, but I click OK. And what I do is I come up here. I start a new scan. But you have to be searching for a text string F00. Start your new scan. I come up with 96 results. Some people will come up with like two results. Some people will come up with more. I come up with 96. I always go straight to the bottom. This value here that I have highlighted, the 7FFF, what I'll do is. I'll come back over to this address box, which will probably have all question marks since I unticked the pointer. And I fill in that that address value, 7FF8C, blah, blah, blah. I put it in here and I see if it works for the table. So what I'll do is uh, I'll fill it in there and then I'll come right here and I'll right click go all the way down to group config because when you're testing values you want to be able to see if the table is going to work so go to group config uncheck this hide children when deactivated all right you see some of the fields open up and then also right click arenas which you don't have to do this part but i do it right click arenas and then group config again and then again uncheck this hide children when deactivated all right so if i type in the wrong value here so what i'm going to do let me just go ahead and type in that value uh seven f f f eight c six f b six nine press ok and see these you see all this stuff is not correct these should be the names of the arenas it's not correct at all so that's not the value so what i did was i went up one i tested this address also that wasn't correct then i went up one more i believe this is the correct address for me so let's type it in seven f f e nine seven nine seven nine zero oh four you can press enter or you can click OK. And as you can see, all the arena names come out. So the table looks like it is good to use. So, so now what I'll do is since the table looks like it's good to use, I'll right click on arenas, go back down to group config and click hide children when deactivated. All right. And then uh, I could do the same thing for this, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Go to teams. See if the team information is lining up. And I don't think it is. Yeah. So the team information is not aligning properly. But let's see why. Uh... Hmm. I'm going to browse the memory region. I'm not seeing anything around here at all. Huh. Oh, there we go. There's something. All right. 
So these rosters, these new rosters are definitely different. All right, my son's moving around. Um, damn it. All right, guys. See, this is why it's tough for people with tons of things going on to help out. All right, I'm going to have to stop the video. My son is slapping my phone around, and uh, I'll try to come back to this if I can.